To create a direct runoff hydrograph, we need to convolute the excess precipitation with the unit hydrograph. This is done through a process called convolution. Convolution is a method used to create direct runoff hydrograph. How do we do this? It's simple. You take the excess precipitation and convolute it with the unit hydrograph, which is our transfer function. This is simply illustrated through an example. Assume that your excess precipitation lasts for a time step of t1, and it's one inch. The unit hydrograph lasts over two time steps, 0.3 and 0.7. To convolute it to get the direct runoff hydrograph, you take 1 times 0.3, and you get 0.3, and 1 times 0.7, and you get 0.7. Let's try this again. Imagine that our excess precipitation this time for a time step of T1 is 2 inches. You're given a unit hydrograph the same as before of 0.3 and 0.7. This time when we convolute the unit hydrograph with the excess precipitation, we take 2 inches, multiply by 0.3 and get 0.6, 2 inches times 0.7 gives us 1.4. Next, let's look at an excess precipitation which lasts for two time steps. We're going to repeat our unit hydrograph twice to illustrate this example. The direct runoff hydrograph for the first time step is the 1 inch times the 0.3 plus the 2 inches times whatever would be in this location, which is nothing. Therefore, it's 0.3. Next time step is going to be the 1 inch times the 0.7 plus the 2 inches times the 0.3. And this gives us 1.3. And finally, the last time step would take the 1 inch and multiply by whatever would be here, which is nothing, plus the 2 and multiply by the 0.7, and this gives us 1.4. This is our unit hydro direct runoff hydrograph based on the given excess precipitation and the provided unit hydrograph. Let's review the concept. First, identify your excess precipitation. Imagine you had an excess precipitation with three ordinates, P1, P2, and P3. Next, you need to identify your unit hydrograph. For this example, let's assume we have four ordinates, U1, U2, U3, U4. The first step is we need to determine the number of ordinates of the direct runoff hydrograph. We know that the precipitation excess was three, the unit hydrograph was 4, so therefore the direct runoff will be the unit hydrograph value, 4, plus the excess precipitation value of 3, minus 1, which gives us 6. So let's calculate our direct runoff hydrograph. Remember, there are six values. The first one is P1 times U1. Next, it's P1, U1, I mean U2, plus P2, U1. P1, U3, plus P2, U2, plus P3, U1. P1, U4, plus P2, U3, plus P3, U2. 0, P2, U4, plus P3, U3. And finally, P3, U4. Do you see the pattern? U1, U2, U3, U4 u1, u2, u3, u4, and so on. That pattern will help you as you're completing it. Let's do an example to help with the illustration. We're given an excess precipitation of 2 inches followed by 1 inch. A unit hydrograph of 10, 15, and 5 CFS. Remember the volume of a unit hydrograph is 1 inch. I'd like to determine the volume of direct runoff, the flow of the direct runoff hydrograph, and the watershed area. Assume that delta T is 15 minutes. 
First, we're going to calculate the number of ordinates of each that we have. The excess precipitation had two values. The unit hydrograph had three. So 2 plus 3 minus 1 will tell us the direct runoff hydrograph will be 4. The volume of the direct runoff hydrograph is equal to the volume of the excess precipitation. This can simply be done by adding the values of the excess precipitation. 2 plus 1 gives us 3 inches. Note, in this example, and in all examples including convolution, our excess precipitation is actually a precipitation depth, not an intensity. Next, let's calculate the flow rate. Q at direct runoff point 1 is P1U1, which is 2 inches times 10 CFS divided by 1 inch gives us 20 CFS. Q2 is P1U2 plus P2U1, which is 2 times 15 plus 1 times 10, which gives us 40 CFS. You might be thinking, well, the units are CFS per inches. But remember, the volume of a unit hydrograph is 1 inch, and that's why you need to divide each value by 1 inch. We repeat this for all the remaining steps, and we calculate a direct runoff hydrograph of 20, 40, 25, and 5 CFS. Now let's calculate the watershed area. The vo volume of the direct runoff is equal to the volume under the hydrograph divided by the watershed area. The area, therefore, is equal to 20 plus 40 plus 25 plus 5 cubic feet per second times my time step of 15 minutes times 60 seconds per minute. This would give me square cubic feet, or square, yeah, cubic feet. I divide it by my 3 inches which is the volume of my direct runoff, and I convert inches to feet, and I get an area of 324,000 cubic feet, or 7.4 acres.